good. Yo, what's up? Happy belated Christmas. Happy belated Christmas, man. How's everything going over there? How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. You, you about you? The family is good? Everyone's good? The family is here. Friends are here. Everything, man. It's, it's been awesome. My grandmother came by, hung out with us, all that good stuff. Uh, it's been going well. But how how's everybody doing out there? Who is anybody in here? I don't think I sent the ping Wait, out in freaking in Discord. Yeah. How about that? Let me let me sit out a ping in Discord real quick, man, because I didn't even ping him in Discord today to tell him yeah, we yeah, were yeah. live. Uh, can you send me that? Can you send me the link real quick? Like, yeah, um, I'll send you that link. Send me the link in our message real quick, just so I can get some get some people over here. Give me a second. Yeah. My bad, chat. I typically do this, but I just forgot to do it. One second here. all right let me see let me where did you go there you go there you go there you go all right private chat copy that and let's see if we can get some people to pull up real quick all right my bad all right we back <laughs> yeah man what's good what's good so yeah so how was your how was your christmas my Christmas was 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 uh was really good, man. And um, my son finally got his streaming set up ready. So I've been sending out these pings for Twitch for my for my little dude because he's been streaming uh Fortnite upstairs. He got his whole room all glowed up and lit out and all that oh, stuff. So that was really cool. My daughter is running around here. Uh, I feel like. The older my kids get, the less amount of gifts I get them, but the more I spend. Does that make sense? Like, I don't get a bunch of stuff. I used to go and the tree would be filled with, you know, 15, 20 gifts for them. Now it's like seven or eight, but it's like really expensive stuff. Yeah, I don't like my son. Like, I mean, it's a blessing. It could be a blessing, right? Like my son, he's not like materialistic at all. Yeah. Like he's, he's all about the gaming stuff. So it's oh, like. Yeah. He just wants gift cards, right? You, the, the art, uh, Archie this year was like not that full because he's like, eh, I don't really, because like I, I would buy him like sneakers and like all this stuff, and he'd be like, ah, eh, right, it's cool because he's just he's not into it. Like I try to get him into it, but he's not into it, which is it's just crazy, you know. He's not just on, you know he's on his laptop playing Roblox, so I'd like okay, he's like, give Roblox me a Roblox gift everywhere. card. Where my daughter yeah, on it too? What is this Roblox? What's going on? It's taking over the world. <laughs> great. It is. It is. It's just. It's just like one of those games where you kind of create your own character, and like there's all these bunch of games that people create, and you just jump to different simulation games, and they just kind of play with their friends. I, I don't know, but yeah, man, just a gift card is just, you know it's a little card. So like my trees, like andy has got like you know a few gifts. You know I've got you know I put my uh, the gifts for my nieces and nephews, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, like every year he he doesn't really want much which is like i guess a blessing in some sense it and is and you know you but know, that's how but i feel the same too. Time, like my son doesn't want a lot like he just what he wants is like the you extent, know the game yeah. he wanted a chair a desk and headphones and and you know what i'm saying like so i feel like yeah. it used to be shoes and clothes and this toy or this thing i oh i got him this really dope um this really dope gift this uh for ball for basketball handling it's called the mm -hmm. dribble up. Have you seen it on like Instagram? I haven't. I haven't. What's up, G Face? Um, basically, it's a sensor in the ball, and then you use it with like your iPad or your phone or whatever, and it like just walks you through like these ball handling drills. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got I got something similar to that with my son, but it was like a soccer ball. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's the same just, company, right? The same company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like bright yellow, right? Bright or yellow neon ball. green or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was fire. He was doing that yesterday. He was sweating, dude. I was like, this is a real workout. I got to get down here myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I started um, getting my son because he's playing soccer now. I got him doing the ladder drills and stuff like that. Like just like yeah. hopping and like doing agility drills. Like, like So every day or at least every other day, I was like, yo, you guys spend at least 20 minutes on, on the ladder just doing agility drills. That's how I feel too. I was telling my son that. I was like, he's off. Um, he's off for a while. Like school i'm like yo i need it i need like 
30 minutes, an hour a day down here, like doing something because this is it's really good stuff. Did you guys watch that uh that Beckham uh series on Netflix? The uh the nah, I haven't seen it. No, 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 no. What what where is what network is it on? It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Okay, yeah. I have to check it out. Yeah, you gotta check it out. It was really good. It was I I didn't know why like a Beckham... documentary is like a one episode thing. No, it's like six, multiple? it's like six episodes. Okay, I gotta check it out. What up, Guillermo? I see Guillermo, K Mac, Petty Eddie's in the building. What up, man? What up, what up, what up? Um, but yeah, no, it was a really good series because I, I didn't really understand why David Beckham was ever like I think weren't you in the stream when we talked about like the best soccer yeah. players? And yeah, I was like, man, yeah, David yeah, Beckham's was... not like number one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i didn't understand it and i'm like well based off of that series they're like he was number one but like it was more like he was pretty boy gq that kind of yeah thing. So, yeah so I mean, at the time sense. i mean he was a solid i mean he was a solid player i mean you know he definitely was known for that i mean he's i guess you could, you could equate him to i mean not the same skill level but like Cristiano ronaldo like he's a pretty boy too but you know he's got talent as well talent. too it's just you know with Beckham, right? Imagine if, if Beckham had social media at his in his era, dude, he just go crazy because all the girls, you it know, been all, nuts. It would, yeah. all, it would have been nuts because like he was the you know he was that pretty boy. He was on like the Calvin Klein ads and yeah, you know he he was it. He was it. He and was like married the Spice soccer girl. for a minute. Yes, right. yes. And he yes, married yes. the Spice Girl, so. That's crazy, man. Uh, Sneaker A, yo, HHSB, what's good? How was Christmas, man? Let's get into it, man. Christmas was pretty good. We've been talking about it um, pretty much the start of the stream. Christmas for me was really good. We had, uh, uh, you know, our family was here, and my wife made Coquito, which is, um, oh, let me say this right, it was Bacardi, like coconut milk. G-Face knows exactly what I'm talking about. Cinnamon uh it's it, she made it it was really good g face you're supposed to send me over some we talked about this already if you're still here you're supposed to send me some coquito so i could try yours too but um <laughs> we had good food good family man we really just hung out um we typically do like a christmas eve celebration honestly and then we chill on christmas day but this year we kind of flipped it where we didn't do anything on christmas eve and we hung out all day christmas day are both of your family like your your family and your wife's family local or yeah are both they... for, for the okay. most part they are local um the only one that's not here is my sister-in-law which she's actually coming back from arizona next month because they hate it out there so oh, wow. they're, coming, <laughs> they're coming back but everyone else is here my mother-in-law my father-in-law my grandmother my grandfather my mom is not here my mom lives in um in uh north carolina Okay. But um, okay. but other than that, yeah, everyone's to pretty much here. And they What's do they all come? Did you host? You host there? We or? typically host, but it was kind of scattered. Like we didn't have like like we usually have like uh everyone in the house at the same time. But like my mother in law and my father in law came over on Christmas Eve, and then my grandmother came over the next day. It was like we just kind of mm -hmm. like bits and pieces, kind of like touch touch base with each other and kind of just hung out for a while. But um yeah I, I figured it was a little less stressful that way because we like made food and then we were able to like st like we had leftovers so we all ate the, you know the food the next day and we kind of hung out we had drinks um it was fun man it was it was cool it was still it was much more relaxed i feel like uh this year than it has been in previous years for sure yeah yeah that's crazy uh, todd, like, what's yeah, up uh, todd? yeah todd in the house candy man what's going on candy man yeah, um, that's cool. Um, usually, like, I have you ever had to do like two Christmas or had to travel? Like, you do one and had to go to another. Never, man. I, I think I'm stubborn never. in that way. Where like we've never visited anyone else's home for Thanksgiving. We've never visited oh. anyone else's home for Christmas. It's like yeah. we typically like we're doing it here, and then if you guys want to pull up, then pull up. If not, like. We'll see you guys like the next day or something like that. Just because we 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 put well Thanksgiving, we put so much effort into Thanksgiving that we just like we're not going yeah, anywhere. Yeah. But um, I've never traveled. How about how about you? Yeah. So typically, so like during so Thanksgiving this year, we hosted. We had both families. So my in laws uh, were here, and then my immediate family were here, and then usually Christmas it kind of splits, right? Usually 
uh, we'll spend time with my in-laws and then go to my family. So like my sister will host her Christmas and then uh, my in-law will host another Christmas. So we'd stay there for a couple hours in one place and then drive about an hour, two hours to to, the, to my sister's place. Yeah. Right. So, but this year, like, no, nah, I'm not doing any travel. I just want to, I'm picking one and I'm just going to stay there. I'm not just trying to drive with, for two yeah. hours to another. It's just, it's just too much. It's just it's too, much. too much, man. So, yeah. So this year we just like, we're just going to stick to my sister-in-law's place because she's next door. It's close by. <laughs> I could just walk yeah. over there. I'm not trying to drive two hours, uh, to my sister's place. So I, have, I still have to give her kids her presents. So I gotta, I got, I still gotta make the drive over there. At some point, like, right? Not, like at some point, yeah, at you some still point. gotta do it. It's, uh, yeah, it's yeah. crazy how stressful the holidays can get, man. Like it's a lot of, I realize that it is a lot of added stress. Like I, ha I was thinking about, oh man, I gotta give my, my niece something. She's over there. Oh, did I get this? Did I get my wife this? Yeah. Did I get that? Oh, what about the food? You know what I mean? And, and then like after it was lot. over, I slept. I was just like, oh, man, it's like I didn't realize that much stress had been building up about the holidays. No, for sure. For sure. Uh, any, where, any, any, the, any favorite memories? Any favorite memories? My favorite Christmas memory. Let me think about it. When was my, my favorite Christmas memory? I'm going to be honest, man. I It was it was. It was when my wife got me my Travis ones. I told you, I thought I, I thought I took an L. I was not like expecting it, and then I got this huge box, like this big. It was the box inside the box, inside the box, inside the box, and I got down to the last box, and it was the Travises, and I was like, "What?" Yeah, that's so. Crazy. That was like my that's craziest crazy. um, Christmas memory, it, outside of like anything from being younger but um that was probably my my craziest one how about you uh listen jw he, he had to go to four to five places that's crazy in three towns oh man that's crazy. that's a lot that's, that's too much that's too JWG, much jwg you too slept much. good after that i bet bro <laughs> i bet you slept good yeah. after that uh I mean, one of my memorable ones, it's like, it's a funny one. I mean, this happened years ago. So my niece, I mean, she's older now. She's like, she's, I think 20, she's just turn, turned 21. But uh, she at the time was like, maybe like five or six years old. Yeah. Uh, maybe younger, maybe four. And uh, she was opening her presents and she was like, okay, cool. I got clothes. Open another present. Oh, more clothes another friend more clothes and then she's like looking at her her cousin seeing all toys oh. she was so mad she got all oh, clothes no. she started spitting on everyone's oh, toys no. <laughs> because she was so salty oh. she was so mad that oh, all she got god. was clothes and no toys and she starts spitting on everyone i was like oh my god it Dude. was hilarious i was Dude. dying laughing <laughs> that's hilarious that's kind of like jumper mary chris's uh niece he got i think he got her to powerpuff girls and she like didn't want them. Like she she opened it up and like looked oh. at it and was like, "Where's the toys? Like, <laughs> like I don't. <laughs> yeah. How do you like this? I don't want this." I thought that was hilarious, man. Yeah, yeah that was funny. Yeah. Um. So uh, I mean, listen, you guys know this is the last wanted stream of 2023. So like we've we've been going strong. We took a break in the middle. We back and you know we'll continue on into 2024. So speaking of 2024, we uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit on the stream today where we were trying to figure out what exactly are we looking forward to in the next year as far as we could be talking about sneakers. We could be talking about, you know, anything else. But in particular, I was thinking about sneakers myself and I don't have much that I'm really like looking forward to at the moment outside of February. And maybe that Olive Travis, if we get it, um, which I'm talking about the reimagined force. How about you? Anything that you are looking forward to um, sneaker wise? I mean, I think you know the Jordan Four, the the um, the black cement, the the leather version. Yeah, I think that's the one that I I want. I mean, that's you know that's gonna be probably on a lot of people's list. Yeah. Um, 2024 i don't know there, there's you know outside of like the nike which we could look through right i mean the jordan preview right the jordan yeah. preview that we had i mean we could kind of go through that list and see you know what's what's popping here uh let me let me pull it up real quick speaking of like 2024 uh let's see did you see anything on that on the the previews 
If I'm being uh, honest, on the, the Nike preview, if I'm being a hundred percent, a buck fifty with you, zero on this list. Zero, really? Zero. All right, we got the Jordan two. We got a sale in black. We've Outside got of the midnight course. navy three, which I think already dropped, right? Or was I think there, there's uh, a better a one. Drop? There's a, I, I think there's probably like a better Ooh. list of um look at of it. look at this. They got the the skinny line, yeah. Uh, elephant that looks that that that, that elephant print yeah, does not look good. Uh, but we God. I know we got um um uh, military fours dropping I don't, force, yeah that yeah. yellow ochre didn't that did that just did that drop already or no that's that's the no, preview no, that's not the, yet not yet this is the preview yeah so a lot these of are people all coming rookie of the years those are like rookie of the years we um, got jordan six yellow ochre not a more chance a lot of jordan hell. twos a lot of jordan twos not a 13 chance in blue hell. gray we got these are the women's jordan one gold metallic Everybody's metallic interested burgundy. in the metallics, but I'm just not. Like, I don't know if I'm wrong for that. Are you interested in the metallic burgundies? Nah, not really. Yeah. Like, so these these are the ones. The reimagined breads, right? I think these are probably a given uh, for most. Yeah. Um, so definitely want those. But other than that, I didn't see, see those, anything. Too. I don't know, chat. Ooh. What do you guys? I mean, these are kind of these are kind of crazy. I mean, but I'm I'm not big on 14s, but these are kind of crazy in terms of the yeah. The um yeah. but these are the women so i don't know if they can have extended sizing uh i don't know chat anything is anything anyone hey, this one right here before? this one right here kind of intrigues me with the nike air and the Jumpman logo on the back you've seen these before yeah 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 i've seen these the, it kind of intrigues me a little bit i i I'm, yeah I'm i mean this is yeah i mean i think they're a clean casual shoe but you know if you got cement whites you know you which i do <laughs> right and a lot of other sales uh, you got olive fives more metallic yeah. gold these are women's these these kind of remind me of uh the off-white ones a little bit yeah for uh, sure without that gold yep but it's a you craft so i don't care what up, what up yeah yo i see you just one more pair what up man uh, we, we also nines, saw out of blue nines. What else did we see? The um, the Columbia 11s as yes, well. The Columbia 11s, about. there were rumors to coming out too. And then we got talking about you know, they're already hinting at uh, the Kobe's for next holiday. What is it? The yeah, nines with the nines, the yeah, the, 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 like one, the the super high top ones that look like uh, boxing, the <laughs> like killing sabers, yeah. <laughs> the Achilles the, savers. The, yeah, yeah, the Achilles savers for next year. Nobody wants that next year, man. At least I can't think of anybody who's not a boxer or who has Achilles issues wants those for next or year. Or a hooper or a real hooper. A, you got to be to, to play a super them. hooper. <laughs> super. <laughs> it's, it, you got to be a super hooper. But it's like, it's so unlike, it's, and there's no excitement with this. Up. Yeah, opinion. yeah, I don't know. Maybe you know. Again, does Travis have to come and save the day again? Or Travis, they they got something that cooking olive, up. Man, that olive will that olive might bring back resale. <laughs> like the resale is it, it might bring back resale because it looks so much like the OG. Yeah, and, I mean, at least from <clears throat> what we've seen like i don't know if it's, it's going to be exactly that but um it's close enough to the og i want it i don't have the og so I, I i want that travis olive for sure the canary one i'm not i'm not sure on yet oh yeah the canary i was talking to xc sneaker and they were like it's like the, the you know they always drop the pictures of like the early you know they like they be halfway done like they're the they don't even be sold yeah, together yeah. yet and they they post the picture <laughs> of it. but he, yeah, he yeah, they yeah. were saying that it's like the thunders like the yellow thunder like it's kind of like that kind of suede and and the same brightness of the yellow yeah, I, th I think, yeah, I mean, those are probably going to be the hot ones. I'm sure they're going to be cooking up some in 2024 we haven't even seen yet. So, yeah. again, we, we got to get – we got in the mix. We got to get in the mix a little bit, give them more time to kind of review. I mean, this is just 
you know, these are most of these are all GR Jordans, right? You know, we got to see what the next round of I'm on year threes, like. I'm on year yeah. fours, supposed yeah. to be, yeah. So, barring no jail that's time, that's what I'm saying. That's no what I'm saying. Like, usually, I mean, it's it's too early, so we, we, we're gonna see some more. I think there was like, I think there was, uh, I saw a rumor of black cats coming back out too. I think black, black cat, cat threes. threes. Yeah, yeah. I think that was. I saw that kind of uh, floating in the That's floating in, around in, in the feeds. Um, what else? Yeah, and then there was the um, well leak today was uh, Action Bronson New Balances too. Yeah, uh, the nineteen oh six. Did you did you look at those? Can you pull did them you up? Those? Can you pull Let them up? Pull them I up. did see, see them, but I don't think they're as dope as the previous ones. Would you agree with that? Or because you're the New Balance guy, I, I would have preferred to have more iterations of the same. I guess. Um, I think. I mean, there were some more photos leaked. Let me see if I could find those photos. Um, but it it looked interesting. It definitely looked interesting uh, in terms of what what was in terms of the material that was used. Right. So I will buy what I, a I, New Balance in 2024. I'm saying it here. <laughs> yeah, we got to get you one. So this is it here. So look at this. This is kind of crazy. He's got the mesh. It looked like it's overlaid on top of what is normally like the uh, like the leather lining. Like it's kind of overlapped it on top of it. I don't know if you can cut it off, but it's kind of weird. You see kind of how it's kind of translucent over top yeah. of everything else. It's like it's it's he kind of reversed it. Usually that mesh is underneath. Oh. It's usually underneath, like the the leather lining and stuff like that, and so he's put a layer. It looks like it's a layer on top, or it's just um, this is just like a, um, I don't know. Usually this is this part of it is like leather, this lining mm -hmm. here, but it might be just um, some type of, I guess material that's not leather. It's just kind of like a, uh, like an overlay or some sort. So it's all not I want to know from the leather. New Balance King himself. Q is one out of ten. That's all I want to know because you can't lie to me <laughs> one on this. Out of 10. You can't lie to me on this one, Q. Man, I'm gonna give this a seven. I'm gonna a give this a seven. seven. That's high. I think it's it's pretty high. The reason why is because I think it's unique. It's different. You you haven't seen a shoe like this. There hasn't been a yeah. shoe like this. Like, let me show you what a, a regular 1906 looked like. But just because I ain't never seen a shoe like it, don't mean it ain't. It's just, it's just different, right? Basura. So, see, that looks way right? better. You see, because you see these these leather overlay, right? On the Action Bronson, it's it's layered on top, right? It's just, it's it's different. It's just. It's I, I don't know. Hey, so you know it, it, it's like busy. Like this is like it's kind of it's it's pretty busy in terms of like the overlays and stuff like that. But here it's a little bit cleaner. It's not as like all these layers on top of it. So I don't know. To me, I think it's a seven. I think I could mess with it. I don't know. Chat. What, what is the chat? What, what are what y'all getting over here? Any where, the new where's balance, the New Balance? Where the, the New Balance gang at? The N in the New Balance, I could see. Well, the New Balance logo kind of like goes up into like one of the loops. Which is kind of yeah, yep, yep. too. That's standard. Uh, That's standard on the 1906. So they all do that. They right? all do that. So they all okay. have that. Yeah, but this so one looks. That. This one looks way clean. Like it's this should have been the freaking action bronze. Like, <laughs> kind of fire. This was kind of fire. Um, but I, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that new one. My number would be a five. I would give it a five. This one five. now, the, now in, in comparison to the to the OG. This one isn't even close. The other one is way better in my opinion. But this one looks like more of like a grocery store. Like throw it on. Let's go do what we gotta do. <laughs> I mean, look, it's to me. I, I I don't. Yeah, I mean, you know, to eat your own, right? You know, it's. I think to me, it, it, it's interesting. Like it's it's different in a way. I don't think it looked as busy. I think it's. I think that overlay kind of mutes it a little yeah. bit. Uh, but I think you know. Action Bronson is definitely experimenting. He's he's definitely making it a collab, right? Because this is not your typical 1906 model. He mm -hmm. put his twist on it. Like this is his interpretation, right? 
versus oh this uh, is a 1906 r can you show us a ninth another 1906 r the other one is a 1906 n oh let's n. Look at all right yeah let me look r. for it. let's it's... see because i want to see what it um 1906 is deceiving chunky and that colorway isn't for me it's a four that's what <laughs> that's a jwg right oh, so here so this is looks like right you see these uh these this leather kind of lining over here mm -hmm. that kind of helps support the shoe so yeah. in action bronson like he doesn't have that like it's like this kind of like uh it's almost like painted almost or it's underneath it's really i can't really figure out what you it can't is tell what it, it is right like here a, yeah it's like a varnish it's like a it's just like um you know how some of the shoes they have like the toe guard but it's not actual leather it's just like a material that's like kind of painted on to kind of give it mm. a little bit uh support and so i think that's what he's done he instead of leather he used it's got this kind of painted material that's a little bit thicker it's maybe like a plastic uh lining that's kind of overlaid versus this right it's it's leather this is the yeah. normal 1906r um jw so to me it looks look like, like the uncaged ultra boost uncaged what he said ultra boost side. yeah i guess in a sense in a sense yeah i mean i mean there's no cage that, like on honeycomb kind of look thing with the honeycombs all yeah it's got the honeycomb oh yeah 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 exactly yeah, so, yeah i mean i mean i don't know i i, I think we'll have to see it in hand i, I mean I, i'll definitely go for them just because uh -huh. i've i've become a new balance uh yeah you are uh New Balance cult leader is what we. Yeah. <laughs> the, the is the New I Balance mean, speaking of right, right. I mean, leader. I got one. Let's of look these. at them. Right here, right here. I got the Joe Fresh Goods. Right, the Joe Fresh Goods. This is the intro. I think the outro. I was surprised. I didn't realize. I knew the Kesha Blue was going to be limited, but I didn't realize the uh, the outro how limited they were going to be. So I was only able to cop the intro. Right. So. Let's see if we can get let's solo you solo you so we can see it solo your uh yeah. your on your side oh yeah yeah my bad my yeah bad. so, you, try so we can see you there we go all right actually let me turn down the light a little bit It, it's uh, a little blown out, but it's it's kind it's of a little blown it. out. Yeah, yeah. Let me move the light over here. That's I mean, the leather. This the actually you had my face. There yeah. you go. You got it. Yep. So, so this here, right here, this is like patent leather. This white. Okay. This is a patent leather, and then the rest of it is this this uh the furry suede all around. So I mean, the detail, the quality on these things are are really nice yeah still kind of blown out a little bit my lighting is too strong uh, but yeah i mean it's i think joe fresh did a good job on these that's better yeah no i i like i thought that was my favorite one of the pack was this one Maybe because I, yeah, just like I, the, I like the toned down color of it, but I like this one the best. I like it too. I, so I, I was happy that they actually made these more because if I didn't get them, I would have been mad. Like yeah. If they were more limited, I would have been like, damn it, I wanted those. But no, those are really know, nice. I'm happy. And uh, I I remember being on the stream and people being like, yo, can you answer for me or, or get an entry in for the Keisha Blue? And go, I was like, yeah, dude, I'll go pick them up. No problem. I'll do it. <laughs> I got it. I never entered. And then I seen where they were like, oh, yes, yes. And the prices are crazy right now. But the thing is, I'm, I mean, I, I don't like them. So, and it's probably the best shoe to go for that because I didn't like the Keisha Blue. So I would have just flipped it yes. or traded it or something, but I didn't even attempt. So, JR says he's got all three coming in um for really? unboxings he says he's excited for them so i'm happy you got them all man is it uh are you keeping these are you keeping them jeez yeah this is not a yeah, good look looking shoe in my opinion like i just don't like it at all there's nothing about it i it's, like yeah i just it's just more the exclusivity of it i mean just how yeah. rare it is i mean yeah. the prices are are crazy look at me 875 size for your 13. size Jeez. size 13 
That's that's hitting Travis Scott prices. Jeez. That's hitting Travis prices <laughs> right there, man. Uh, I mean, look at this. You know, five, six. This one, eleven ninety five for a size eleven and a half. Dog. Dude, that's that's crazy. And I would agree with you. I I agree to your sentiment. Like, I don't think they're crazy. Like the color yeah, lines, no. like I would never would have thought that these would would hit over 500 i was like okay it's probably a three maybe four hundred dollar shoe just because maybe. it's exclusive to chicago mm -hmm. because you don't see new balance hitting those numbers like at all like the most you'll see is maybe a four upper 400 you'll never you, you rarely see a 800 900 new balance 875 um, yeah it's crazy it's crazy and it just keeps going up and this be I mean, it's yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. That's today too. That's today's price. Yeah, <laughs> that's today's somebody, price. somebody wanted them bad. Somebody, yeah. somebody wanted them bad. I would have been happy to yeah, sell it for a seventy five. I would have <laughs> crazy yeah. with that because I would never wear yeah, it. But, um, but I do like the pair that you have. The black pair is not bad at all. But I, I actually like the um, the uh, what's it, the intro? This is the outro. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. I would definitely like to have it just to have the set, but whoever got the set is definitely a dope set to have. Um, so even you know the the outro pairs, I mean they're they're selling pretty good. They're floating in the three hundreds, the mid three hundreds, which is about you know it's like a hundred hundred fifty above retail. Yeah. Um, but it's I, I I didn't expect it to do those type of numbers. Um, you know, so the the intro pair is definitely lower. It's sitting in the the mid the mid 200s which is close to retail so so as far would, as you know as far as real fresh goods collabs uh with new balance would this be the most successful as far as like resale is concerned i think or probably, the, um, probably yeah it's not my favorite it's not my favorite my favorite would probably be the uh 9060s is that the one that's like the 993 50, 50 pink or something like that or yeah yeah or that yeah Yep, yep, exactly. That's the one. Uh, that's the one that got me into New Balance. That was like the shoe that got me into New Balance. Mm. Um, so I would prefer that. It's, I think it's just color wise, it's, it's a little bit more creative. Um, it is. I think what's good deep, about the, the 990, well, the V4 at least, and this it, from now that I'm looking at them from that, it's just, it's the silhouette is more muted itself. Like it's not like this heel, right? Yeah. That's the one yeah, thing yeah. I noticed about this one is the 9060. The heel is kind of crazy. It's kind of funky, but yeah. I like the color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I I prefer this this um, capsule. Uh, it's probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you know, he Joe Fresco did something with it. I mean, I think I think maybe part of the, the storytelling, uh, making one exclusive because usually his exclusive were exclusive to like his store his online store or i think on his instagram store uh mm -hmm. he never made it like chicago only. next time so. i'm all over it because that's his store. I didn't <laughs> yeah. know that was his store in chicago i didn't know that that was his store i didn't know that either I didn't yeah know that it's either. like his new flagship store in chicago and i was like all this new like the first time it's his new shoe i'm like bro yeah. i would have i would have been all over it i just was so sleep I was so yeah. look. JWC yeah. JWG says you can hear that. I you can, yeah. There's there's pain and regret in my voice <laughs> for not attempting to to do better. Bro, you could have you could have your your name on that. Had your wife's name signed up. Had <laughs> your daughter. Your son's my grandmother. Name. My grandmother would have went and picked them up for me. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm low. I'm a little know, upset no, about it. No one knew. No one knew. I I mean, as much as you know, I'm into New Balance. I had no idea it was yeah. those numbers. I had no idea. Chris says we sleep no, on New Balance and did. Asics. We are. Yeah, Asics. Are. Yeah, I mean, I'm all about New Balance. I think I'm slowly dipping my toe into Asics. I see a couple that I, I really like. Um, the one that hit the hit the hidden the hardest was the hidden New York. <laughs> yeah, hit, that one like, was crazy. Oh, <laughs> Y'all see? I mean, from what I heard, like there weren't that many because those were custom. They were you actually those numbers. Paid. The numbers are crazy. Did you see the numbers on those? Look, yes, Chris, man, look the them up. I oh, we know, know, man. Yeah, for sure. These numbers are crazy. 
Jeez. Like they didn't even have in your size. Like they oh got my one list and one or two. I mean, let's look at the sales. Let's see if anybody made any sales. So oh, all right, okay. so, so one really sold, like one that. sold. Well, because they're so rare, I don't know if they people are willing to sell it because I think there were probably like less than fifty pairs because they were actually hit, like they were hand dyed, so they weren't that many to begin with. So whoever owns, whoever got them, either are keeping them, uh, and then you got a few, you know, people who are, are just going to resell them. How long um, do you hold on to this shoe though, if you have it? Like, what do you? I feel like you might have to strike while the iron's hot. But looking at the yes, sales, I agree. Not. I agree. You gotta if you, if it's hype, like you gotta you gotta sell these like right now if you're just looking to make a quick buck. But I think long term, like these can go up ten x than what it is today because there's so few of them. And the only downside too is there's going to be a very specialized buyer who who's into the hidden brand and understands how limited they are. So mm -hmm. it's kind of working against you. Like so, right now it's like probably. You know, you'll probably get a good flip for it for sure. But I think if you wait long term, like it's definitely one of those grail pieces like that no one's going to have because there's like less than 50 pairs of these. Man, it's going to be that's, almost that's like, I was like, asking, like, like, like a Freddy Krueger, oh. SB Dunk or Jeff Staple, F, you know, SB Dunk. Yeah, like these are like going to be ultra rare that no one else is going to have because these were custom made. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, uh, JR says, uh, search Joe Fresh Goods Anatomy of a Heart. Is that a is that another one? I never oh, seen them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the first one. I think those were the 993s. Yeah, there you go. Or is it, are you talking about these or 992s? No emotions are emotions. Is that them? We well, said anatomy of a heart, so I'm not sure. Anatomy of the heart. All right, yeah. Let me, yeah, let me find those. 1900 for these. Damn, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carney yeah, said those the same 25 ones. to life in a climate controlled environment. That's a fact. Yeah, I think these are the same ones. Okay, yeah, I think they're, 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 so I think this is like one of the first early ones that this might be the first collab. I, I might I may be mistaken, but I think this is one of the first ones that he, he's collabed with New Balance. Twelve stacks for a size eight. Yeah, and they're hitting. Yeah, man, they're hitting a band, two bands. Last yeah, well, these the last sales in some, oh uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago for a thousand for a size ten to half. That's that's actually a pretty good deal. Like. These, uh -oh. like these, when Q's these about drop, to buy them. Q's about to buy them right now. Q's about to buy them right now. <laughs> yeah. They said, whoa, that's a good size. deal. <laughs> that was a good deal. Man, see, the lowest size 11 is 1800 Yeah, man. And these, yeah, these dropped 2020. So these, these, these are rare too. Yeah, dude. These are very rare. So, lesson learned today buy the first of a collab, maybe. Yeah. You, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and yeah, um anytime there's an exclusive to the city, any city, then we probably should look into it. That's because we're ignorant. We think Nike is everything is scared to venture outside of them. <laughs> I've been buying a lot of ASICs lately and they keep going up. Man, I, I don't disagree. I don't well for me personally, I'm not saying everyone else, but me personally, 2024, I will I will cop a new balance. You gotta expand. You gotta expand. You gotta expand. I mean, if anyone, this was the one to get because it was it's the Chicago, Chicago exclusive. No. <laughs> I'm I was so that stupid, hit, that, aren't that I? Hit home. If it was, <laughs> so dumb. If it was the only one that you were gonna hit, it was gonna be these. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I couldn't. I'm so dumb. Oh my god. Where's why not? Why not? Where, where's he at? He 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 should have got him too because he he he's in the neighborhood. <laughs> He, he oh, regrets not going for man. them. I think he just went for the intros. But yeah, I wouldn't have worn them though. So like I would have literally got them to flip them, but still just that's I'm just I'm dumb. Yeah. Um <laughs> man. So uh moving on from New Balance. So moving on from New Balance. Um Kobe's, right? So we had the the blackout joints today, the gift of Mambas. Did anybody have any luck with those? I personally I haven't had any luck on sneakers app. In months, so I haven't hit on anything. Zero. But no guess luck. who hits? Rick. Rick hit. 
Oh, Rick hit. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Like I, I got, I got, I'm on my, my wife's phone, my son's phone, entering my phone. I can't get anything. I can't. Hit he don't even anything. care though. Like sometimes he don't even be caring. He be like, oh yeah, I hit. Like, oh, I no. hit today. I caught my head. <laughs> Are you like, what? You don't even want him. You don't even be caring, Rick. Man. Yeah. That's crazy. It's don't crazy. Hit, you know, yep. I struck hit. out, struck out on the Grinches, gift the Mamba. Yeah, I can't, I can't Grin- hit. Grinches, I had six uh six entries, nothing. So I was I was really upset about that one. Um, this one I only had one phone. I wasn't really tripping off of this one. It would have been nice to hit a pair of Kobe's, but I wasn't tripping off of it. Um and I don't really know. Like in, going into 2024, we know that there's gonna be more, a lot more Kobe's dropping, but yeah. a lot to me doesn't mean that it's gonna be everything is gonna be uh uh you know. Are they going to dilute the Kobe brand is kind of what I'm thinking, like the Mamba brand. Like are, now we got the Grinches. We haven't had we hadn't had Kobe's in a while. Excuse me, the reverse Grinches. We hadn't had a Kobe's in a while. Um, you know, and then we got the blackout pair. Now, if we're getting a pair every month, is the hype going to be the same or are we going to start to see it kind of like die down a little bit? What do you think? Yeah. Is it going to get oversaturated? Yeah. Saturate the Kobe I mean, they can, I mean, they've got a pretty, I mean, Kobe's got a decent uh, line that he can retro, right? We still have the Bruce Lee's, he can retro those, he can do a reverse Bruce Lee. I think we talked a little bit about that on the last stream. So, I mean, there's a few, uh, you know, signature Kobe's they can, they can retro and just do a reverse of it. And it's still going to be crazy. People are going crazy for it. So Nike's going to steal our idea, by the way, we're going to see a reverse bruce lee and it, we're gonna be like we know it was us yeah we yeah. know it was us <laughs> we, reverse bruce lee. we know that it's gonna happen in 2024 yeah. 2025 and we're not gonna get paid for it but um but yeah I, I do think that uh we're gonna see more i i think that the hype for them is gonna kind of die down unless they start retro if they keep just popping new like i saw some ugly did you see like those um they, I think they just had A24 all over them. Do you see those? They were like green. Yeah, yeah, I did see those. I did see those. Uh, I, think those like, God, I don't know what it was, but those are ugly. Reverse Bruce Lee's? Yeah, I know, man. College PEs, uh, Kobe's would be dope too. Verbal trademark. There we go. Look, where's he at? Ah, Todd. <laughs> Verbal trademark. Yep. We said. Talk about these here. Do they got the nine? No, that's not them. They don't have it all over them. That is okay. So there's the another Bible one. Stores. Those don't look. Those don't look bad though. Those are those. Yeah, actually I nice. actually like this color. I I've been like leaning to this kind of like silhouette. Uh, like lighter olive or I don't I don't what do you, what do you call this? Like a sea foam or mint? Like I don't know what you call it, but I've been it's leaning darker a lot. than mint. So I don't know, but I like that. I mean, I, I like that like color. A sage or something. That one's dope. Um, anybody hit on those? These are uh, the, um, the fear of God, the white joints. I think those dropped on Christmas, right? Anybody hit on those? I didn't even go for them. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even go for them. I think, <laughs> so these were something the friends of family ones, right? These are the friends of family. Psych dropping yeah, on like, Christmas. <laughs> everybody getting a pair. Everybody Back getting a pair. Not, not just <laughs> Friends of, and so yeah, all man, the friends nah. and family who got the white pair are like, yo, what you doing? <laughs> well, yeah. You got yeah. a pair, GP? There you go. GP, got a pair. Yeah, GP gets everything. You said go for everything. them. They dropped? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, they, they dropped, man. They dropped on Christmas Day, apparently. But, um, but yeah, man, that's a whole nother topic. But as far as uh, Kobe's a concern, I know everybody's going to be excited about it. Um. What's the market looking like for Mac attacks right now? Have we looked? Let's take a look. I got my tab open right here. Let's see. This is what it looks like. It looks like a ski slope right here, like sloping right down. Bam. The mid 200s, right? They they were floating around December 14th, the 600 when they, I guess they they dropped, they dropped on the Travis website and it was like hitting like seven, six, seven hundred dollars. And then it's just, yeah, ski, yeah, this is the ski, fake yeah, height, right? Fake height. Mm. Um, yeah, 
chat, what do you guys think about that? Um, they were up really, but obviously, you know, I, I don't even know if the people from the Travis site have gotten their pairs yet or have they, maybe they have. Cause excuse me, when I hit, um, when I hit the fragments, I actually got mine like pretty quickly. Um, but 172, is that today? Yeah, but it's a size four though. It's oh, a size four. So oh. that's usually, but yeah, but there's a couple of size. I mean, even, even. 237 that was today for a size 11 that that sold today so uh, quite a few sold today like look at this, this is all today these are all Damn, today really? yeah does that seem weird to you we're so no? scooping them up i mean it's a mixed sizes right you got an eight and a half or 213 and an 11 and a half which is a, a harder size to get which is 269 right the bigger sizes is probably worth more than the, the smaller sizes so you, you know it, it's ranging it's it's yeah, it's kind of weird. Like you got these weird ones, like the three thirty seven. It's like way, way over what the other market says, right? Yeah. Why would why would someone pay two fifty and then all of a sudden someone buys it for three thirty seven? So like it seems like it would stay the same. Kinda, now. Yeah, right. Not not a eighty eighty seven dollar difference, right? We're talking about twenty dollars, maybe twenty thirty dollars. But this this. It just seems it odd. Weird. I mean, within four minutes, it just yeah. That's why when I look at StockX data, it's like, what is this? Like, how? Why? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Very true. They're the same but size too, right? Either way. And then you same had same size, and same size. And then you had a size eleven selling for two fifty. Well, no, this is uh, at five ten. So thirty minutes before that, you had a size eleven selling for two fifty two. Then it was two fifty. Yeah. Then it went up to three thirty seven. Which is yeah, and then what's the next one? It went back to to two fifty. So right. that one dude that bought it at three thirty just got. I was gonna just, yeah, but I, I, <laughs> it doesn't. No, I don't know. I think this is a. It's I don't know how StockX does their um their this 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 data. Oh, so like it just doesn't make sense. Like come, come down, come down a little bit more. Down, 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 down to this next size eleven. Down, 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 down. down. Down That's a little a, more, right here, two sixty, three thirty, three eighty, three thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a minute this apart. Is just a, a weird discrepancy. A minute apart. It's, it oh, make sense. Usually, said, That's because StockX pulls sales from from all platforms, not just their site. Really? Not yeah. I mean, maybe that's that may be so, but it's. We don't know. Like, I mean, I'm sure they do, but we don't really know where they're coming from. Like, it's just, it's just weird. Like, because even this one, right? So this, this is an instant ship. Usually, instant ship is a little bit more expensive because they ship it right away than yeah. if you were to buy it regular. And you got when you buy it regular, like it's this should this should be lower than the instant ship one or the express shipping. Bin buyers versus sellers accepting bids. Hmm. Man. Yeah, I don't know. There's this I don't know weird discrepancy a... though. But um but, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I mean in case, uh the mega tax, the hike, the the little thing that between Travis and, and John McEnroe, their whole little marketing scheme. Yeah. Um I mean they still sold out, so and you know, to Nike it was a success. You know, right. on the resale side, not so much. So at that point, Nike's like, eh. You know, does, do do we care? really care? Yeah. I don't know. Do they care? I mean, does it, you know, I don't know. But definitely. They still hyped up enough to sell out. And people swore that they hated this shoe and they didn't care for it. And me personally, like, I was okay to have it or okay not to. I would I would still have liked to have had it, just like to have it as a one of a more wearable Travis, in my opinion, where I could just like beat it up if I wanted to. But um, like you said, at the end of the day, Nike sold their pairs and um, and, and it, it's, yeah. it's on to the next. I mean, I just wish he would have put a Cactus Jack like flair to it, right? Not And not use the same colorway as the normal one. That was kind of my issue. Like I wish he would just put his Cactus Jack flair on, on these shoes, like a, a colorway of some sort. But right. to use the exact same colorway as a normal one is like, why? Like, right? Why? I don't get why. When we saw it, no one understood. No one understood why the same colorway, just reversing the swoosh, is like 
Yeah. A, some, a complete slap in the face. It was just, yeah, it was just a waste of a collab. It was just a complete waste of a collab. Yeah. Now, if we yeah. end up getting some, but like I said, uh, it's not, it's not exactly the same, but it, I mean, I guess the build of the sneaker looks kind of like the trainer itself. So if they did a brown colorway or an olive or whatever, it could have, I guess, maybe looked similar to it. It yeah. still wouldn't be it, but. Uh, do you think we'll see any more Travis Mac attacks? Probably not. We'll probably see one more. We'll probably see at least one, one more. We see one. I, I that's my guess. I'd say we probably see one more. Maybe one more. They should. They should run it back, but run it back a little bit more with a little bit more Travis Flair. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I would agree. Um, Travis Beaters, like trainers, um, yeah, Carnet, but then you have stylists and artists who have budgets, right? So people who just buy it because they just need it and they can. I see that. I can see that. Um, about some of those sales that are higher than the others, they don't gotta wait, they just got budgets, they'll 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 spend the money, but yeah. Um, man, I think I think we covered everything, man. I think we covered everything today. Did I we? So. Yeah. I think so, man. I think so. Man, that's the that's the last wanted pod. In 2024, we branded it a pod. It's no more no more news. We branded it a pod in 2024. Um <laughs> branded it a pod in 2024. We might hey, we might have to have JR come on too, man. He's a he's a good dude. I know we we've met him. Y'all y'all met him at um Secret Con. He gave us the hoodies. Um he's a really oh, good nice. Really oh yeah, good yeah, dude. yeah. That's a big shout out to JR. Yeah, we definitely should get him on the show for sure. Yeah, Jr. Let us know, man. If you got when you got time, if because I see you're here, so you probably got time. I don't know if you're working or not, but um, he said too short like the raffle. Yeah, we almost there the hour, man. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. We uh we got sneaker con coming up January sixth. Uh, we will be there for yep. Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Um, so if you guys are gonna be in the area, uh, make sure you guys pull up and say what's up. Come to the one at booth. Take some pictures, play some games, all that good stuff. We're going to um, be relaunching pretty soon. Not necessarily sure when. We're going to be there. We're going to be there. We got some new stuff. So definitely, if you guys are, are in the area, stop by. We got some giveaways. We got some hoodies. We got a nice, you know, look, look, look at crew rocking the new hoodie there, the new wanted hoodies. So, yeah, man, January 6th, we'll be there at Seeker Con. We got, we got big surprises, big things coming out. Relaunch. So definitely big things coming to 2024. Definitely, man. Y'all have a great night. Have an amazing night. Make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream. I know we had a couple of you guys in here. So make sure you guys hit that like button on the stream. If you aren't subscribed to the Wanted YouTube channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the Wanted YouTube. Of course, follow us on Instagram. You guys can find me on YouTube as well at the HHSB crew, if you guys don't know. And also on Instagram. We'll see you guys in the next one. We'll see you in 2024, man. We're out. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, fellas. Happy New Year. We will see you guys out. Peace.